In this video, I want to show you another famous fractal, the Koch snowflake. We start with an equilateral triangle with sides of length 1. We divide each side by 3, and we remove the middle section. We replace the missing section with two lines at the same length of the section we removed. Then we do this again. We remove the middle section of all parts. And then we replace the section we removed with two lines at the same length as the, uh, the section we removed. You keep doing this infinitely. So what happens to the perimeter of the figure? So this is one side of the triangle. After zero iterations, we have three sides of length one. After one iteration, because we removed one third and we added two thirds, the perimeter becomes three sides times four thirds. After two iterations, the perimeter becomes three times four third times four third, or three sides times four third squared. After three iterations, the perimeter becomes three sides times four third times four third times four third, or three sides times four third cubed. So you can see that the iteration number is also the exponent. And for zero iterations, you can also see that, because you can also say three sides times four third to the power of zero, because something to the power of zero is always equal to one. And after one iteration, you can also say three sides times four third to the power of one. So, after n iterations, the perimeter becomes 3 times 4 third to the power of n. So, if n approaches infinity, the perimeter becomes infinite. But you can see that the area of the Koch snowflake does not become infinite. It stays bounded, because you can always draw a circle around the figure. The fractal pattern of the Koch snowflake continues forever, and the perimeter is therefore unmeasurable. We can also calculate the fractal dimension of the Koch snowflake. Remember that d, the dimension, is equal to the log of the number of self-similar pieces, divided by the log of the magnification factor. So we have four self-similar pieces, and the magnification factor is 3, because we divided the original line segment by 3. So the fractal dimension of the Koch snowflake is log 4 divided by log of 3. And that's equal to 1.26, etc. What does that have to do with the real life? Well, Imagine you want to measure the length of the coastline of Australia. Easy, you might think, but a coastline is not smooth. It is like a fractal, like the Koch snowflake. The length of something like a coastline is dependent on the length of your measuring equipment. And it's always an approximation. Australia is a big continent, so you might want to measure the coastline with a ruler of one kilometer, and it would still take forever. You can only measure lengths of one kilometer around the perimeter. All the smaller inlets cannot be measured and are left out. You can therefore say that the length is approximately 35,877 kilometers. So I've drawn a little example of a coastline here. 
So if you use a ruler of one kilometer, you may measure two times one kilometer, but all the smaller inlets are left out. Two times one kilometer is equal to two kilometer. So, but now if you use a ruler of 100 meters, you can also go into smaller spaces and inlets. And I measure 32 times 100 meters, which is equal to 3.2 kilometers. So, this one is bigger than this one, and the ruler is smaller than the other one. <laughs> If you now use a ruler of one meter, you can also go around rocks. Your perimeter is going to be lo even longer than before. You may now say, this is accurate enough for me, because one meter is smaller than me, and I don't need to go into smaller spaces. But what if you were an ant? One meter is huge for an ant, and he may think that all small bumps that he can walk around are important too. He may use a ruler of one millimeter. But what if you were an, a bacterium, a molecule, an atom, an electron, a quark, or even smaller? You can always think of something smaller. And in every time you use a smaller size ruler, your perimeter is going to get longer. And if you keep doing this forever, you end up with infinity. The strange thing with infinity is that you can never get to the end. Like the called snowflake, the coastline of a country has a fractal dimension. You can graph all the measured lengths of the perimeter versus the lengths of the ruler in our log log graph. The slope is the fractal dimension. An object with smooth borders will have the slope close to one. The more irregular the border, the greater the slope and the higher the fractal dimension. The fractal dimension of Australia is about 1.13, which is pretty smooth.